السلام عليكم حنا في جيفو محمد اش بان لك باش نسولو داك السؤال اللي تناقشنا عليه داك النهار في هذه بلا بلا كوتر فين نقراو جافا و انا فيرسيون نبداو بها اي ثينك جافا 8 اي ثينك واحد انا ما متفقش معك كاع راه نقول لك نبدا بجافا 17 17 اه الا كنتي غتبدا اليوم غتقرا شي حاجه وغتبدا بها علاش غترجعني جافا ويج ما تبقاش مع محمد الا كان شي واحد غيبدا اليوم نقول له يبدا بجافا 17 ولا بغا شي واحد يخدم اليوم يبدا بجافا 8 مرحبا وانا متاكد انني غنزمطك وغنضحك وغتقتنع شوف يلا 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 Can you introduce yourself to our audience? Uh, I'm Ivar Grimstad. I'm the Jakarta EU Developer Advocate at Eclipse Foundation. Ixchel Ruiz. My name is Andres Almeray. I'm currently employed by Oracle, but I'm also a former Java champion. My name is Pratik Patel. I'm a Java champion based out of Atlanta. I work as a developer relations person at Azul Systems. I'm Anna. I'm passionate about working with Java and Kubernetes for quite some time, especially with Java. And uh, I'm looking forward to advising you on how Java works better. Mr. Deepu, nice to meet you. Nice so, meet you. the question is, for someone who wants to learn Java for the first time, which version do you recommend? The latest uh, Java. I would uh, recommend they start with the latest version. 21. Yes, I would. I would recommend that. With the newest version, the ceremonies in Java are reducing. You know, the verbosity is uh, reducing slowly. And for uh, new beginners, I think it is easier for them to learn a language when the language is less verbose. Uh, let's say they 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 come from another language. Let's say they they got uh, used to a uh, uh, language uh, like uh, JavaScript or Rust or whatever, right? They they come from that, or at least they have heard of. modern languages right then they come from that to java 21 and they also see similar features they see pattern matching they're like hey nice nice feature we uh, know it from the other language right so they have less ceremony they 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 don't have a lot a uh, lot of boilerplate it's easier to get started like the 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 main thing is now uh, main function is now uh, smaller to write right so those i think help to get them started fast and also doesn't give the impression that they are using a uh, An older language with a lot of verbosity and ceremony. So that 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 is what. I if you're new to Java, if you're already a developer new to Java, or if you're just new to software development, my recommendation is to start currently with Java 21. Why Java 21? Because you want to start with the latest and greatest, right? Java 21 has a bunch of great features in it. Uh, pattern matching. It has. Um, the records, it has a whole bunch of great stuff in it. So why learn something old when you can learn the newest stuff? Now, when you go work somewhere after you get these Java superpowers, will they be using Java 21? Maybe, maybe not, but that's okay. Then you're ahead of the curve on everybody else that may be on your team. So that's why, in my opinion, you should use Java 21. And also, when you go and do that first download of your JVM or your Java virtual machine to start programming in Java, Make sure you use Azul Zulu JDK because it's the best JVM that you can get out there. Well, I don't have a specific number, but what I'm going to say is, in terms of market, go with the one that most of the community or the organizations are using. If we insist, sorry for, for interrupting you. If we insist to have a, a number, a number. Well, then I will go with the LTS and probably Java 21 first. because it's going to give you an advantage in terms of features. But probably uh, that is not going to be used in the wild. So I will suggest to Java 8 because with that you will learn a lot of the fundamentals. Java 21st because you will learn a lot of the new features. Okay. Uh, but really the, the most correct answer Where to be the one where you can find a job. <laughs> so it's Java 8. <laughs> it's a little bit of a tricky one. I will suggest always stay with the latest one. At the, current, at the time of this recording, that will be Java 21. But it's also true that many companies out there uh, was, uh, have not adopted the latest version of Java. Uh, many out there will use an outdated old version. Java 8 is the most common one. So if you're starting today, Be sure that you understand all the features that are available to Java 8, for sure. You are always going to use them. But if you can, try to stay as up-to-date as possible. If it's not 21 today, probably stay with 17. 
There will be new features that you will love, but those features may or may not be usable in your actual first work. Just be aware that as time passes by, those new features will become available to you. So it's always good to know. So it's eight. It's eight as a minimum, yes, uh, for, for, for actual work, but try to go with, at the very minimum, 11. There are new features that you should go. But if you want to do it right now, today, for the latest edge, go to 21. Okay, thank you so much. So if you're starting with Java today, I would start with uh, Java 21. It's the newest version. It has the best features, the most modern language. If you start later and Java 22 is out, you should go with that one. So always the latest version. The latest available version, I think at the moment is 21. Uh, because it also has something for the beginners, like simplified main and unnamed uh, classes, um, and working with unnamed uh, variables as well. So I think that beginning with Java and just writing the essential code uh, nowadays is even easier to, with just working with the latest version. And if that 22 is coming up by the time you post this video, work with 22 and give that one a try. So happy coding, beginners.